Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. I'm Attack of Skittles and welcome back to Let's Play The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, what happened last time was pretty shocking. Um, we were investigating the judge's house and we found out that the judge had a, recorded a lot of stuff regarding Sherlock and uh, Sherlock went and blew up the judge's house along with his wife's school, leaving Watson dazed and confused. So, um, yeah, pretty weird stuff. Uh, new factors regarding Sherlock Holmes. New revelations regarding the true nature of the famous detective Sherlock Holmes have reached our editorial staff. Your humble servant, always seeking the truth, has been able to initiate contact with someone linked to the Bruce Partington plans case of several years ago. This person is none other than the brother of unfortunate Arthur... Cadogan West, murdered during that terrible affair. The revelations made by this gentleman are astonishing. Desiring at all costs to realize the truth regarding his brother's death, uncovered a certain implication of Sherlock Holmes in the disappearance of the submarine's plans. So that he might lay his hands upon the documents, Mr. Holmes accused the famous partner, his accomplice, of stealing the plans. He double-crossed him by making the theft appear simple in order to accuse him later. He then set a trap with the newspaper bluff, a sim simple small ad, for the partner did not know that Mr. Holmes and his boss were one and the same person. Wow. Arrested and found guilty alone, the accomplice died in prison shortly afterwards under suspicious circumstances, taking Holmes' secret with him to the grave. These revelations are extremely important. Mr. Holmes is not a vulgar, deceitful criminal, but well and truly one of the central figures of international violent crime, who would not hesitate to betray his homeland. Oh, Farley. How dreadful. How dreadful indeed. A fountain pen, just like the rat killers. Today, that dangerous maniac is free. And what's more, it is Holmes's fault. That inquiry at Westgate was a total failure. Yeah, I gotta agree a little bit. Aha, uh -huh. Toby, who knows where Holmes is? Mm-hmm. Aww. He even has a little blanket that says Toby. That's cute. Kurtz's pipe. So, Holmes took it with him. I wonder if he would have fired at those fiends in the opium den. A few days ago, such doubts would never have crossed my mind. But today, I find myself asking if he could have killed in cold blood. Yikes. Anyway, um, let's take a look at- oh, we can't. Okay. I thought we could take a look at Holmes' desk, at least. Oh, there's a- there's a picture right there. The paper Holmes used to wrap that mysterious package that he left at the judge's house just a few minutes before the explosion. I... Did he... Did he take the paper off the bomb before he detonated it? Because if so, that's weird. I mean, don't get me wrong. The paper looks pretty and all, but... Would you really save it? I don't know. And this is how my dear friend and colleague treats his client's letters. By stabbing it. And we got an achievement out of that, I think. Locked. Of course. It's locked. These events have shattered my nerves. I should sleep for a few hours. Or at least, I should try. Yeah, what's the issue? Get some sleep. Ooh, we have the option to go. But I think we should go to Watson's room. Whoa. Doctor! There you are. I was poisoned. By who? Ah, you know him very well. Such a clever man. A brilliant mind, but so evil. He has hurt so many of us. Who are you talking about? Who? Oh. So hot. Flames. The heat is unbearable. Walter, I beg you. Where is he, the devil? 
one day he will have to answer to a higher power. Oh, I need air. I need water. Ease my pain. Who did this to you? Ah! Ah! Dr. Watson! Is that Lucy? Lucy, you are wounded. I can't find my children, Doctor. Find them for me. But I beg you, keep them away from Mr. Home. Lucy, no. Why do you say that? Let me help you. You are so kind. It is too late for me, but you can still save. Holmes, I know you were in there. Holmes, open this door immediately. I think that I would rather not. Tell me the truth, Holmes. I need to know. You have no right to keep the truth from me. Tell me. I am sorry, Watson. Open this door, or I will break it down. Do what you like. The door is not locked. Holy shit. What are you doing? No! Holmes! No, it is impossible. Sorry, no way wakes up from a nightmare saying it as calmly as that. What's going on? Yes. Police! Yes, just Open. one moment, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. No, Dr. No. Watson, I'm sorry. Is Mr. Holmes here? What? Inspector Baines. What? Is he here or not? Uh, no, I do not believe so. Open the door, quickly. You're going to have to come with me, Doctor. We have a lot of questions to ask you about your relationship with Sherlock Holmes, and also regarding your movements early yesterday evening. Dang. It's empty, Inspector. Get dressed. We're leaving in two minutes. Yes, I'm coming. I'll do all I can to help you. I would also like to find the answers to some of my own questions. Sergeant, I'd like you to stay here with some of your men and search the place from top to bottom. If there is one clue here that will lead me to him, then I want you to find it. Doctor, you must understand that I am sorry about this situation, but if, as we believe, Holmes is a murderer, I won't hesitate to arrest him. What did you say? A murderer? You heard me, Doctor. The Bishop's murderers informed us that they were following orders from Sherlock Holmes. Say what now? I don't think Sherlock would be a blatant murderer. Holy crap! Baines and his men have ransacked the place during my interrogation at Scotland Yard. I would never have imagined that I should be put through such an ordeal. I have always fought on the side of justice, but to be interrogated for hours like a common criminal, having to proclaim my innocence over and over again. Baines is convinced that Holmes is guilty, but who can blame him? Everything seems to point to him. I had thought that the worst was behind me, but here I am, as a suspected accomplice. All I need to do is to find Holmes, and when I find him, I'll... I'll decide. I'm going to search the flat. Perhaps Baines overlooked some clues. Okay, first of all, Watson, I agree with everything you just said. Second of all, you'll decide what? What to do with Holmes, or decide whether to keep trusting him, or to just shun him for the uh, suspected murderer that he is. Anyway, like I was saying before, um, I don't think Sherlock would be a blatant murderer, because he made sure that nobody was in the house when he blew up the judge's house. So... I mean, I think he would have made sure if somebody was in there. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. Mm-hmm. As he loves to don disguises. Ugh, what a smell. It reeks of tobacco. Mm. I don't... I don't know. Anyway. This disguise evidently belongs to Holmes. This is what Holmes was wearing yesterday. Why would he Holmes has left his tweed suit here. So, he came back to change after he left me in front of Judge Beckett's house, just after the explosion. Knowing that Scotland Yard is looking for him, 
He will likely have changed into one of his disguises. I just need to know which one. The best thing to do is proceed by elimination. I will use the wardrobe in the sitting room to reconstruct them. Okay. I got a hat. I got pants. I got a hat. Wait, should I stand at the mannequin and dress it up? I got I got shoes. Uh whoa, 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 there's something else up there, I thought. I could have sworn something popped out when I turned, but anyway. There's more shoes. Um Oh, Holmes's tobacco. A hole. There must be a false bottom. I need something thin to prize it up. Uh, this, this these could have worked, but okay, I guess not. And there's nothing in here that can help me. Watson has Watson oh, sense. There must be a. F All right. Well, I, I obviously don't have anything. Otherwise, I would have done so. But uh, okay. Watson has Watson sense now. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, I forgot. I gotta pick up a bunch of clothes. Do 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 do. I like how the music is playing so dramatically, even though we're just picking up laundry. That's all we're doing. <laughs> Chores have to be so dramatic and action packed! I got a hat. Alright, um. We get to open this closet. I must collect all the pieces of Holmes's disguises and assemble. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I, I guess that that's it. Yeah. So we have to figure out what disguise he was wearing. I, I think we're missing a jacket. So let's go back and find one. Unless. The jacket was on the mannequin, we just had to figure out what would match that. Yeah, this we get to be fashion Holmes designer. Yesterday. This on. is what Holmes was wearing yesterday. Yes, hold on. I'm moving the window just a little bit. There we go. Sorry. Okay, so... Can it, can we not pick up this jacket, then? We, we've already... Let's do that. Um, is there anything we can use to pry the hole out of the bottom? I should have been able to do that. A hole! A hole! There we go. Whoa! A photo of Irene Adler. The woman, according to Holmes. Holmes is Victoria Cross. A letter addressed to Zachariah Dossett, the clergyman. But what is that doing here? It's a rent reminder. But why should Holmes be concerned about that? Is there Another any letter. Why he shouldn't be? This one for I mean... a certain escort. Who could that be? This J. Escort must be a worker in the building. A letter addressed to a clerk of the court. Why in heaven's name has Holmes got that? This letter is addressed to a naval captain. My goodness. All these carefully hidden envelopes were addressed to Holmes under various identities. The addresses are therefore those of his hiding places. Holmes has never told me about them. I suppose that he goes there regularly and discreetly to pick up his mail. I cannot waste precious time by going to each of these addresses. I must refine my research. 
Oh, there's the last jacket. There we go. Now we got all the wardrobe pieces. Let's let's put it all together. The that's a reverend's hat, so very Well, we already know the red one goes here. I must put the right name to the right disguise. Okay, so is this there? It? The entire outfit. Did there. I? So did I? Did I get it right? I don't see my. I don't see my mouse. There we go. Perfect. I didn't even now need to change the clothing. I just had to put the letters to the right piece of clothing. Me. Let me take a look at the map. Okay. But that makes things a lot easier. It would be better if I took some money before leaving. One can buy a lot of things with notes in Whitechapel. Yeah, you can buy some information. Where, where's the, where's the money? Where's the money? Show me the money. Is it in Watson's house? In this room? Oh, okay. Huh, Last night I was too tired to think, but now I have to face the truth. Home stole my money, like any common low-down scoundrel. Dang. Good. I've got the address of Holmes's hideout, Six Bucks Row. All right. Well, we will find him in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos that I'll post soon. If you like this video, click that like button and subscribe if you want to keep up to date on the videos that I upload. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! I remember you! You stay the hell away from me! Eh. Eh. I wanna see you! <laughs>